Okay, so in this uh, lecture, we are going to start with a new topic, which is uh, called as basic counting. So we are going to cover some methods of counting here. So in this chapter, we have basically two, two sections. One is about the basic countings, which is uh, which which involves two rules which are called as addition and multiplication principles. And second is we are also going to cover permutations and combinations in the in this chapter. OK, so we will first start with the. Topic of basic countings. So the section one, let me say here. Which is of basic counting. So there are two rules or uh, two basic countings. So there are two rules basically. So the first rule is called as the addition rule. Or it is also called as the sum rule. And the second rule is called as the multiplication rule. Or it is also called the product rule. So these two rules we will now first state them so the first rule is the addition rule so we must know the statements of addition rule and multiplication rule okay so if a collection consists of r1 distinct objects Distinct means different objects of type one. It contains R2 distinct objects of type two and so on. It contains Rn distinct objects of type N. Then out of this collection, so I will draw a picture here. So this is a collection and of type one, I'm having R1 objects. Of type two, I'm having R2 objects. And so on. Of type N, I am having Rn number of objects. OK, now what we want to do is from this collection, we want to pick one object we just want to pick one object okay then the total number of ways to pick one object from this collection is how many number of ways are there to pick exactly one object from this type of collection it is r1 plus r2 plus dot 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 plus rn so this is the number of ways to pick only one object from this type of collection so this rule is called as the addition rule okay now let us write what is the multiplication rule so in multiplication rule suppose i have an experiment okay if an experiment consists of n activities If an experiment consists of n activities where first activity can be done by R1 
ways are one different ways okay second activity can be done by are two ways and so on nth activity can be done by rn number of ways okay so the experiment i want to do is the how many activities are there in the experiment there are total n activities so you have to do the first activity then you have to do the second activity third activity and then the experiment will be complete after doing the nth activity but the first activity itself can be done by r1 number of ways the second number of activity can be done by r2 number of ways okay so if i want to complete the experiment i have to do all the activities first activity as well as second activity uh, till the nth activity so how many ways are there to complete this experiment from the first activity to the nth activity then the number of ways in which the experiment can be performed how many number of ways are there the number of ways are r1 multiplied by r2 multiplied by dot 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 rn number of ways okay so these are two rules right now what we want to do is we have to whenever we come across a problem we will try to fit our problem in these two rules and there is only a slight confusion in the minds of the students that when should i use the addition principle and when should i use the multiplication principle okay so when you have multiple activities and you want to perform all the activities at the time at that time i'm going to use multiplication principles okay but a, but sometimes a problem may occur in which you are supposed to pick some object then you know that the addition principle is related to picking an object from a given collection okay so now we will start with uh, some simple problems and uh, then we will try to see some complicated problems so let me start with a simple problem now so the first problem is how many four digit numbers can be formed using digits 1 2 3 9 okay so now we now we have digits 1 to 9 so these are nine digits total these are nine numbers and we want to we want to do what we want to form a four digit number okay we want to form a four digit number so i will draw four boxes here so this is the four digit number now in the first place in the, in the first place of the digit you can fill any number you can fill 1 to 9 any number you can fill right so here how many choices are there to fill the first box so i have completely nine choices i can fill either 3 i can fill either 8 i can fill 9 i can fill 0 I, i'm sorry zero is not allowed here right so here you cannot uh, write the zero number right now in the second because it is given to us that the digits are used to be used from 1 to 9 only now what can i do for the second place okay. now if the first digit suppose i choose the first digit is to be 5 can i choose the second digit again to be 5 you can choose because the problem is saying that just find out how many four digit numbers are there it is not mentioned anywhere in the problem that the digits should be different or you cannot repeat the digits so i can repeat a digit over here right so in the second box also in the second place also i can again fill any number from 1 to 9 so again the second place has what the second place again has nine choices what about the third place the same story 
the third place also has nine choices and the fourth place also has nine choices now do you realize that filling the first box is an activity which is to be performed and that activity can be performed in nine ways then you go to the second digit then that digit also has to be filled so that is the second activity and how many number of ways are there to do that second activity again you have nine number of ways and nine number of ways and nine so we have performed four activities of filling one by one digit and all the digits have to be filled so all the activities have to be performed if you do not perform that all the four activities then the experiment won't complete so this means that this is a problem of clearly of multiplication principle because i have four activities and each activity has to be performed so that we can form a four digit number so the total number of ways is how much you have to use the multiplication principle so by multiplication principle the total number of ways to form such four digit number is equal to how much nine multiplied by nine multiplied by nine multiplied by nine okay so this is the first problem now let us slightly modify this problem now what i want to do is i want to again form four digit numbers okay but uh, what i want to do is using digits zero to nine okay now i want to also include zero also in that list so now how many four digit numbers you can find now all of us know that uh, the the digits from 0 to 9 are how many digits these are total 10 digits are there in our hands okay so now you have 10 digits with you so i will draw the four boxes for the places of the four digits so this is the four digit number where the four boxes are filled now here when i'm i'm starting with the first place here you cannot fill a zero right zero is not allowed isn't it so here if because if you write a zero here and then you write some numbers over here then the then the number will become a three digit number so here in this place uh, i out of these 10 digits i have only nine choices to fill the first place so let me write the reason behind it the reason is what zero is not allowed in the first place okay but in the second place now i can put a zero i can put a one i can put any number i can put zero to nine how many digits are there 10 digits so to fill up the second digit i have what i have 10 ways 10 number of ways or 10 choices to fill the second digit similarly is the story for the th third digit you have 10 choices and the fourth digit also can be filled up in the in 10 choices you you have 10 choices with you so again this is a problem of multiplication principle because this is an activity which consists of this is an experiment which consists of four activities so by multiplication rule i can again say that the total number of ways is uh, how much 9 into 10 into 10 into 10 okay if you have time in your examinations you can calculate this multiplication as far as the logic is concerned you can even stop here okay let me uh, let me now take a slight modification of the second question okay now what we want to do is we want to form four digit numbers uh, using the digits 0 to 9 but i don't want repetition with no repetition so now you cannot repeat the number okay repetition so so i mean to say you cannot allow a number which is of the form 3994 this is not allowed because you are using the nine digit two times so i will again draw a picture of four four digits and let me put four boxes in place of those four digits. The first digit, obviously, the first digit is how many choices because then the, the digits allowed are 0 to 9, correct? So 0, 1, 2, up to 9. So there are total 10 digits with us. 
but you cannot allow zero year. So you have nine choices. Let me write the reason over here that uh, here zero is not allowed. Okay, now comes the question of the second digit. So let me just draw do one sample one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, now in the first place, suppose I fill up four. Now, four cannot be repeated. I cannot put a four in the further places. Now, how many digits are left with me? Now, if I count, I am left with zero, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because I cannot use. Four. So now I am I'm left with how many digits? I'm left with nine digits. So the second place has how many choices? The second place has nine choices. So here you can fill zero also. Here you can fill four also. Uh, sorry, five also. Anything. But as soon as you fill the second digit, suppose the second digit is two. If I cross out two, now in the third place, now the number of digits that I ha have in my hands is eight. So there are eight choices. And this will be how much again I will cross out one number am amongst them and therefore I have only seven choices left and therefore the total number of ways again this is an experiment with four activities. So by multiplication principle after some problems we will we will stop saying the principle or the rule that we are using it is it, it should it, is, it should be understood that I'm, I'm by default using multiplication principle or addition principle uh, as we move ahead. So by multiplication principle, the number of ways will be nine into nine into eight into seven ways. OK, so this will be this will be the number of four digits, uh, which will be of digits from zero to nine. And there will be no repetition. OK.